What's up guys? It is day two of sick week. We are over here at Orlando Speed World. We got the hatch over here. We stayed at a hotel last night and we weren't too far from where Cooper and the Vargas brothers were staying. So we met up with them this morning and uh, we all kind of rolled up here together. Cooper's tightening up his caliper right now because apparently be his right brakes now. came loose last night and it was a whole deal. Super fun, Freaking man. Hole through the wheel. Locked up in an intersection. Ruined the wheel. Yeah, at least it locked up, stopped, which is crazy. And you have the transmission problems. You've been going yeah. through it. How's the FD doing, Mike? Uh, it's doing really good. <laughs> what did it run? 11.7 on Baby Boost. On um, Baby Boost? I am rolling off the line. Why Baby Boost? Uh, baby Boost because I wanted to last. The turbo has got like in and out shaft play and it's smoking like pretty good so oh, that's, we don't it's on baby take, boost taking it easy on <laughs> yeah. that poor turbo yeah pretty much i don't know if i mentioned this yet or not but today got canceled because of the weather it's supposed to be raining here very soon and they decided to shut down racing entirely for today so we just have to show up to the track to get our pictures to make sure that we were following the correct route and then we are off to gainesville which is the next uh, drag strip for tomorrow so after we get our pictures and stuff we can pretty much just do whatever we want today just kind of hang out well boys we have a little bit of an issue with the hatch here we noticed the noise when we were driving over to the track and it turns out our passenger side rear axle is shot uh, we jacked the car up because we heard this noise we knew it was coming from back here and we noticed there was a whole bunch of axle grease and we're like let's just pull this thing out and see what's going on and it's weird because when I pried the uh, axle away from the diff this little rock fell out and as you can see on the end right here it was jammed right up against that guy like so and we think that was putting a whole bunch of pressure on this outer end right now why it's getting this apart this side was super hot we could barely touch it and here let's see the heat marks on that I'm gonna spin that guy over you see those heat marks on there she was cooking and the bearings on this end are just completely blown and i literally think it's because of this little rock right here getting wedged in there because you know we drove it at the track no issues at all we drove over 200 miles with no issues so there's no reason this thing would just let go on that end like that at the bare minimum we're going to try to get the car drivable again i made a post to see if anyone nearby has some rear axles but it does suck i didn't expect the axle to be cooked like that and these are literally brand new but I don't know if this little pebble is the culprit, but I don't know what else it could have been. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was these clearly don't have jammed a whole in there. Lot of slack in there when they're in the car. They well, no, what like was a quarter inch? What so was that weird? Was pushing it against yeah, it. what was weird is it? It was completely bound. It yeah, had no play. No movement, so. so this rock was literally shoved itself in there. Yeah. I think it just cooked her. So we're gonna have to find out something real quick, boys. It is about to rain, so that is what we are most worried about. Is we don't want to be out here in the pouring rain. So we're gonna try and make this happen. So we tried to hammer the end of this axle lock, get this cup off and make something work, but she is on there really tight. And I called around and we actually have the exact axle from Insane Shafts coming because Real Street had one in stock, but they are about 40 minutes away. So we actually had a fan that was hanging around offered to go meet them halfway to grab it, to make it go by a little faster. So that should be coming to us in about half an hour. And we're just doing our best to beat the rain because the clouds are starting to roll in here. And then someone else also left us an umbrella. So if we have to set up to get this done, then that's what we got to do. But we have a new axle on the way and we'll hopefully get her all put back together and we will be on the road again. But yeah, a little unfortunate boys. So this one bit the dust all because of a little rock. The axle has arrived. Thank it you, is. sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. Your lifesaver. Yeah, yeah, that definitely cut our wait time in half. Yeah, yeah. It was a uh, it was a little wet out there and uh, a little slick, but you know, whatever. We hurried it made up. Made it happen, man. Made it happen. Made so it happen. we got our new insane shaft axle back here. Ready to go. Let's get it out of the box. Get that thing in, and then while we got the car apart, we also rolled the fender on that side already. We'll get this axle in there. Get this fender rolled. Get that out of the way. We'll be able to hit the road. Thankfully, it's not downpouring right now, but yeah. I don't know if it's going to get worse. Let's hope not. Yeah, let's, hope not. <laughs> let's get this done. We got that wide body coming in. This is like my OG video yeah, on the hatch where I rolled the front ones. 
<laughs> Comment if you remember that video, because that was like six years ago in my mom's garage. We are ready to roll, boys. Got the new axle in. Once again, thank you guys for the tent that saved us. And uh, yeah, we gotta go grab our pictures. And we will be on our way. Hey, it's good meeting you guys. It's nice meeting you. Thanks for hanging out. No problem. Appreciate no worries, it. What's all about it? How's the drive been with no wipers? Pretty good. Not bad, honestly. We, the water does bead right off, so we're Got actually, our rain up, rain up all good. Pressed. I think no defrost is honestly the harder, the harder thing to do. Yeah. So you do have a working defrost? No, no we got no a pile of rags. We got a pile oh, of rags. Just wiping. keep wiping her off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's been raining pretty good, but we have been cruising along. We only have one wiper working on the hatch here, but. That is all we need. We still have the defroster in the car, so it's really not too big of an issue for us. And it is nice driving it on normal tires, so it's not too sketch. She handles well, and pulling the trailer even in the rain is not a big deal for the car. So we are making good time. So we've been driving for a little bit over an hour. It has been a wet and rainy drive the whole way, but our new axle is holding up great. No new noises, nothing strange. She is cruising great. So that is a good sign. And we are pretty close to our next checkpoint, which is at Daytona Beach. We're about maybe 10, 15 minutes away. And we are at the final E85 station that we will come across up until we go to Georgia and back. So this is where we were a little bit worried because we literally had to top off everything we have. We got the fuel cell all the way topped off, all of our jugs filled to the top because we think we have enough E85 to make it from here to Gainesville and then from Gainesville to Georgia. And then after we leave Georgia, we think we can make it back and keep the car on E85 the whole way through. But there is still a chance we might run out and we will have to put pump gas into the car at some point. But this is our final stop for E85. This is it at this point. There is no more E85 from here, so we'll see how far we can make it yep. and hopefully get through all of the race days. Yeah, that'll but, be the, the tough one is if we gotta make more than one pass to use enough more fuel. Yeah, each pass burns a lot of gas, so. I think we'll gonna, yeah, I don't think it should be too bad. Yeah. Worst case, we'll just put 93 in it. The fuel tech will correct, so. Yeah, I'm not worried about it, but yeah, we got everything filled up, so we are good to go. Brent and Shane had a tie rod issue on his car and they were a little bit behind us, but since we had to go out of the way to get E85, they said to keep going without them. And they have Cooper with them and we're all going to meet back up at the checkpoint over at Daytona Beach. And then we got the Vargas brothers here with us as well. How's this thing cruising, Mike? This thing, getting good gas mileage. I don't know how much and fuel gauge don't work, but it's, but it been, it's been cruising, mileage. man. Even with the slicks, it's just been coasting. Oh yeah, how have the slicks been in the rain? Is it a little sketch? Once. Just once it was sketch. Just once it was <laughs> yeah. sketch? Once in the past hour, so that's a pretty good average. Like, that was know. a pretty good average. Yeah. That Dorito life. Alright guys, we just made it to our next checkpoint and we are back with everybody once again. Cooper's Mustang over there, the Vargas Brothers, and then Shane's car, they got his tie rod fixed. So we are good to go. We just had to take a picture at this spot. We are at Daytona Beach. You can see the ocean in the background over there. And there is a Daytona Beach just behind the trees. Sucks the weather so crappy though because we wanted to take the cars out onto the beach to get some sick pictures of them, you know, on the sand with the ocean in the background. But we don't want to go out there and get stuck because it's all like kind of wet and mushy out there. We just don't know. We do have all wheel drive, so we would probably be fine. But just with how cold and, you know, wet it is out, we're going to pass on that. And we are already a little bit behind because of the axle we had to fix. So we're going to go ahead and keep on trucking along.
made it back. After a block split in two, yeah. he got her up and going again. So cool. Hey. We got the fenders rolled on the back of the hatch here as you guys saw. Gonna have a wide jump on there. We're gonna do a quick uh, tuck test. Get these things bouncing. Oh, about to lose the glasses. Oh yeah. Dude, we are good. Now it comes out and around the tire. Yeah, I think we'll be good. Not have it smoking down the whole track this time, eating the tire up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was catching on that inside lip that was folded in. So we should be good to go. All right, guys, it is day three of Sick Week. We just made it over here to Gainesville International Raceway. As you can see, Jamie got his Civic put back together, and he is ready to go. Uh, Shane's taking some pictures right now, so he's gone. And we just got the hatch into race mode. We got our slicks on the car, and we double-checked that the tires do not rub in the rear. So we are good to go after we got those fenders rolled, and they just called us up. All right, guys, we got the hatch in line, and as you can see, our line is moving forward, so I gotta hop in this thing. We are getting ready to make our first pass of the day here in Gainesville. Honestly, boys, the line has been taking a very long time to move and the track was supposed to be done racing today at 3 p.m. and it's currently 3.20. So we might only get one pass for today, so we're hoping that we can get a good run in, one and done, and uh, pack up and continue to be on our way, but we will see. We'll be going up here in a second. I'm also gonna launch this thing a little bit harder than I did when we were in Bradenton, try to get that 60 foot down a little more, and uh, hope for a lower nine second pass. If we can get anything under like a nine five, I would be freaking pumped. So we are gonna be up here in just a few minutes, boys. Make our first pass. Let's see what this all wheel drive is all about. I'm gonna slip her a little hard. So I got Mr. Mitchell behind me in the LS Escalade and I just kind of looked at the line and we might end up going together. That would be fun. I mean, you're gonna smoke me, but I'm not gonna hold back on you. I just want you to know that. <laughs> all right, guys, here we go. I think if I launch this thing a little harder, I'm guessing we go a 9-4. That is my guess, right here on this path, boys. What's up, man? <laughs> Both rocket down there, 959, 152 for the Honda. 1016, but look at the speed, 140 miles an hour. Yeah. 
good, man. Uh, on to get ready to do work here on the left side. Off the starting line, has a few parts and pieces. Come off of it. Not bad, dude. dude one and done. Five. One and done. One do PB. One fifty-two. Is it focused on there? No, baby. Give me a second. Not bad, bro. One Nine five to the sixty. Yeah, dude, it rode out really yeah, I, good. I, I still didn't go hard on it. Just yeah, no, it left it. smooth. That was great. I think it could do an easy one four if I really let it go. Yeah. But the hatch has never been better than like a high one six when Damn. it was front wheel drive. So that all wheel drive is definitely working. Yeah, that's awesome. One dude. five to the sixty. Nine five at hundred and fifty two. We back it up. We can pack out or pack up, roll out. It's already really late in the day, so yeah. probably a good thing. Hey, not too bad. Ten one. Pretty good. I wasn't expecting that at all. Considering you don't have it turned up like at all. No, the boost controller's off. So um, I'm impressed. Yeah, that's really good. I don't know if you guys remember this thing or not, but back when we were at the Colorado shop, this is Mitchell Stapleton with his twin turbo LS Escalade. We yeah. uh, talked about running this with the Rodacy way back when, have a little battle with the sleepers. Yeah. But we're getting that thing back together, so we'll definitely make that happen at some point. But it's cool to see you out with this thing, man. Well, boys, another PB, 95152. Check that out. 15 to the 60 foot. The hatch has never gone faster than a 16, and that was its very best front wheel drive. So we know that all wheel drive is starting to work. I'm still going pretty soft on the launch, but there's way more give to go. I'm still just trying to go easy on it so we don't break anything. But yeah, boys, we're pumped. We can put this thing back into street mode. I just want to say, good job, bro. Appreciate Two passes on this thing. Yeah. Bunch back of miles. to back this is what, like 200 miles now we're into this over at least Probably not close more. to 350 400 miles minimal honestly. problems like i'm pretty happy with it man dude she's been going smooth we just had the axle issue yeah but That's beautiful it, really. launch and i know there's more to chip away in the 60 foot yeah. yeah i mean really right now like set up for the car is rudimentary like we don't have any kind of power management on it like that's all stuff we can dial in later and really get this thing to dive deep into the nines even maybe the eight someday doing consistent mid nines yeah, right now like with what it we have right now up. i'm so happy this is about awesome that. like super pumped with that yeah dude the hatch is back boys and it's freaking ripping guys so pumped so like i said we're gonna go ahead and get our street tires back on because we did it again, one and done. We are yeah. ready to roll out. It's only four and in the hit afternoon, the road. but yeah. yeah. The lines took forever to move today. We are behind schedule, so we gotta get packed up and get going because we got a long drive ahead of us. So we're gonna get to it. Looks like it's not you missing third today. What happened, man? I uh, once you won it, and the flywheel oh, came off. Tell me that. The flywheel? Came off. The flywheel. The flywheel, like you hit the starter and nothing spins. You hear oh, a bunch of weird no. noises. Dude, and Jamie's had a problem. Yep. Don't let me be the only Honda finishing this, guys. Dang it, man. Dang it. Got your work cut out for you today. Oh, yeah. It's just a Honda. Just another day in the life. Yeah. Part of the adventure. What's it look like? Oh, the ring gear. The gear fell off the. The ring gear. Do you have a ring stock gear. ring gear on there? Hasn't been tack welded yet. Dang, remember when that happened to me? Yeah. Boys, who is an OG subscriber that remembers weird noise from the hatch video? And it was the ring gear on the flywheel that came off. So, in this point, we just need to pull the pan, inspect the pump. Yeah, get the trans off, put the ring gear on, weld it, press it, whatever we gotta do. And then maybe tack that sucker. Yeah. You might be okay. I might be all right. This is wild. Wow, well, you boys got some work to do. Yeah, we do, but we'll get it. Well, hopefully everything else is okay and you guys can get that apart, get that ring gear fixed, and the oil pump's still together. Get to Georgia. And uh, catch up with us. Yeah, we're gonna try. Got the hatch back into street mode and we are ready to roll out. We got the Vargas brothers and Cooper following along. Unfortunately, Shane one 2 one his car and the ring gear came off, so they do have to pull the trans to get that fixed. Hopefully that's all it is and they can get back on the road and meet us at the next spot, but we gotta start covering some ground. And unfortunately, Jamie had another issue with his car as well and it looks like he is out for the count, which does suck. I really wanted the boys to cruise along with us. We are the only Honda now in the pack, but we gotta keep going guys. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the road and make our way over to Georgia.
after about a two hour drive, we made it to our final checkpoint for the night. We had a checkpoint earlier about an hour ago and then this is the last one over here at this restaurant. We left the track guys and we just went right to driving and we just decided to get this knocked out. And we're only about 15 minutes from our hotel. We all made it no issues at all. We got the Vargas brothers and Cooper. So we all stayed together and we are good to go for tomorrow. So we are going to be at South Georgia Motorsports Park for our fourth day of sick week. And then after that, it's a straight shot back down to Bradenton for the last day. But the hatch has been cruising along great, guys. Today went awesome, a new personal best in the car. And we started to get that 60 foot a little lower, having that all wheel drive finally starting to kick in. And I'm just so pumped, guys. The hatch has just been doing so good. Only two passes on the car and we have two personal bests back to back mid nine second passes out of this thing and the h22 and all-wheel drive setup all custom all put together last minute it's just cruising right along so it's awesome to see but we're gonna head over to our hotel and uh call it a night